Hello gamers, old Linux gamer here. I play games mostly now on Linux. Now just so you understand, this isn't a new bandwagon I'm jumping on. With Microsoft implementing telemetry, data collection, and subscription pricing for Windows 10 use after 2025 October, I see Windows going the way of the dodo. And this is a great time for you to jump on board the Linux train. I've dabbled with a few distributions that I enjoyed, but the one I tend to stick with the most has been Linux Mint. So I've gone full time to that, and I'd like to show you today my installation and what it is I do. Now, first thing you're going to want to do is down. It takes its cues from Windows. The menus are very similar. Everything is just kind of familiar. So I'm going to grab the Cinnamon ISO, and for me, I'm going to load that on a VM, but normally you would want to put this on a USB drive. Um, also, if you're just going to test this out to see if it's something that works for you, you might be better off installing a new hard drive on your computer just for Linux. And this is actually what I do. I dual boot. There are certain situations. I have a printer that only works with Windows. Um, so I dual boot my computer where I have both operating systems on it and I just have to reboot to go into Windows or reboot to go into Linux. Uh, mostly I spend my time in Linux, but there is, are those few times that I have to go into Windows. And as you can see here, I've booted into the VM. Um, I'm going to go ahead and install this as a full installation now. Um, when you first boot into Linux Mint and you're booting from your ISO, it's only a live disk so you can run this as an operating system um, but you want to do the full install um, and I'm gonna speed this forward just so you can see the progress of and what happens until I get to the end where I need to start the configuration which is also pretty simple And there you go. That took about five minutes total time. I'm going to go ahead and log into the desktop here. And the first thing that you want to do when you log into your desktop after a new install, I'm going to set this to where it doesn't come up every time it boots. Uh, but first thing you're going to want to do, you have two options to do it in. You can do it in terminal. And I know some people are very afraid of terminal. You don't have to be. It's a pretty easy command, sudo apt update this is going to update your repositories and then sudo apt upgrade which will do any upgrades that are available on the online for you <clears throat> you also have the option where you can do it through the software manager um, and this will also go out and check if there were updates i prefer doing it through the command line just because it seems to be a little bit faster but you can do it either way Now that we have our system up to date, we can go here to this, the software manager. This is similar to the Microsoft Store that allows you to easily install packages. And we will install Steam. I like the system package over the flat pack. The system package is a little bit more updated, uh, where the flat pack tends to be a little bit lower of a version. Just I prefer the up to date version of, of Steam.
one more thing I will install is Lutris. This will allow me to play games from the Epic Online Store, or GOG, Activision, EA. Uh, it just has it just adds a bunch of features that Steam doesn't have already involved or installed into it and allows me some flexibility and some more settings. And the final thing that I'm going to want to do since I run an NVIDIA card is I want to make sure that I have the latest NVIDIA driver installed. To do this I'm going to open up the driver manager and I'm going to change this from X server to the NVIDIA driver. And now that I have the NVIDIA driver installed, I also have the NVIDIA control panel, which I can change any settings that I would like here. And now at this point you can see I have fully functional Epic Game Store. I also have Lutris where I can launch Steam games. I can launch the same games through Steam itself. Right now I'm working on a little montage of Surrounded, a series as you would say. So let's go ahead and launch that. Now one setting that will have to be changed is the compatibility. You want to set this over to Proton. Um, that is Steam's engine and with the creation of the Steam Deck they have made a lot of this possible. And as you can see I have access to pretty much my full library within Steam. Um, the only thing that you might have some issues with would be uh, multiplayer online games that have weird anti-cheat systems that don't allow it or see Linux as some kind of cheat. And there you have it. It really is that simple. Um, I know this video was probably only about 10 minutes long, but that maybe took me 15 minutes, 20 minutes maybe, um, to get up and running and playing games. Uh, 
I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed my lesson with this. I'm still very, fairly new to Linux, but um, I will continue to post content on my channel as to me playing games on Linux so you can see that it is a viable alternative now to Microsoft Windows. Thank you and hope you stop by again.